The chasm between the rich and the poor can often seem like a vast, unbridgeable gap. However, much of this divide comes down to knowledge, particularly in terms of handling finances. There are rules to money that, once understood and applied, can significantly alter one's financial landscape. This article explores nine pivotal money rules well known among the wealthy but often overlooked by the rest. Understanding wealth. Before diving into the rules themselves, it's crucial to lay the groundwork on what constitutes true wealth. Wealth isn't just about having abundant resources. It's about mastering the art of making those resources work efficiently and sustainably for you. Understanding wealth further requires recognizing that true wealth extends beyond monetary measures. It includes having the time and freedom to pursue passions, the security to weather financial storms without undue stress, and the ability to provide for loved ones while contributing positively to society. Wealthy individuals often view money as a tool rather than an end goal a means to create a life filled with purpose and fulfillment. The psychology of money plays a critical role in this understanding. Wealth accumulation isn't solely the result of hard work and diligence. It's also about mindset. Those who are wealthy often exhibit a growth mindset, seeing opportunities where others see obstacles and are willing to take calculated risks. This mindset also involves a deep understanding of one's financial behaviors and biases, actively working to make more informed and rational decisions about money. Wealth versus income, what's the difference? Is another vital distinction in the pursuit of financial freedom. High income does not necessarily equate to wealth if it's not managed wisely. True wealth is about building assets that generate income, reducing liabilities, and creating a net worth that can support your desired lifestyle indefinitely. It's about having the financial resilience and freedom to make choices that align with your values and goals without being constrained by immediate financial pressures. In essence, understanding wealth requires a comprehensive approach, combining financial intelligence with psychological insight. It's about adopting practices that not only increase your financial assets, but also enhance your overall well-being. By focusing on building a solid foundation of knowledge, cultivating a positive and proactive attitude towards money, and making informed decisions that align with long-term goals, anyone can embark on the path to true wealth. The psychology of money. Money is more than just currency, it's a mindset. The wealthy understand that how you think about money greatly influences how you accumulate and preserve it. The psychology of money delves into the deep-seated beliefs, emotions, and behaviors that influence our financial decisions. This facet of understanding wealth is pivotal because it recognizes that our financial outcomes are not just the result of external circumstances, but also internal frameworks. At the heart of the psychology of money is the concept that our relationship with money is shaped early in life, often inherited from our family's attitudes towards finance and further molded by our personal experiences. These foundational beliefs can either propel us toward financial security or lead us into cycles of financial distress. One critical aspect of this psychology is the distinction between scarcity mindset and abundance mindset. A scarcity mindset views resources as limited, leading to fear-based decisions such as hoarding money or avoiding financial risks altogether. In contrast, an abundance mindset sees limitless possibilities and opportunities for growth, fostering a more relaxed and optimistic financial outlook. Those with an abundance mindset are more likely to invest in themselves, take calculated risks, and believe in their ability to recover from setbacks. Another key element is emotional intelligence in financial decision-making. Emotional intelligence involves being aware of our emotional responses to financial matters, understanding why we react in certain ways, and managing those emotions to make more rational and beneficial decisions. For example, overcoming the fear of loss to invest in the stock market, or resisting the impulse to make a large purchase that might feel satisfying in the moment, but is detrimental to long-term financial goals. Cognitive biases, such as confirmation bias, overconfidence and the bandwagon effect, also play a significant role in our financial behavior. Being aware of these biases and actively seeking to mitigate their influence can lead to more informed and objective financial decisions. Moreover, delayed gratification is a crucial concept within the psychology of money. The ability to resist the temptation of an immediate reward in favor of a more valuable or enduring reward later is a common trait among the financially successful. This principle underpins the practice of saving and investing for the future rather than spending impulsively in the present. Ultimately, mastering the psychology of money is about aligning our financial behaviors with our deepest values and goals. It's about creating a healthy, mindful relationship with money, where financial decisions are made deliberately with a clear understanding of their short-term and long-term impacts. Cultivating this mindset doesn't just lead to better financial outcomes. 
It contributes to overall life satisfaction and well-being. By embracing the psychological aspects of wealth, individuals can unlock a more conscious and intentional path to financial freedom. Marked by growth, resilience, and a sense of abundance that transcends mere monetary gain. Wealth versus income, what's the difference? Many confuse having a high income with being wealthy. However, wealth isn't just what you earn, it's what you keep, grow, and how it works for you. The distinction between wealth and income is foundational, yet frequently misunderstood, leading many to misjudge their financial health and long-term security. Exploring wealth versus income, what's the difference? unveils the nuances of financial stability and success. Income refers to the money received on a regular basis, whether through employment, business activities, or investments. It's the flow of resources that can sustain living expenses, savings, and investments. While a high income can afford a comfortable lifestyle, it doesn't automatically equate to wealth. The key lies in how that income is utilized. Without prudent management, High earners can still find themselves living paycheck to paycheck, with little to show for their earnings in terms of lasting financial assets. Wealth, on the other hand, is the accumulation of valuable resources and assets that exceed liabilities. It represents the net worth of an individual, the total value of assets like cash, investments, property, and other financial resources, minus any debts. Wealth is what you have saved and invested, what remains after you've spent your income. This accumulated wealth can generate passive income, further increasing financial stability without direct labor. It's the measure of financial security that can support a desired lifestyle for the long term, even in the absence of active income. Understanding the difference between income and wealth shifts the focus from merely earning money to effectively growing and preserving it. Here are key strategies that underscore this distinction. Savings and investment. High earners become wealthy by saving a significant portion of their income and investing it wisely. Savings provide a buffer against financial emergencies while investments grow wealth over time. Asset accumulation. Wealthy individuals focus on acquiring assets that appreciate in value or generate income, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, or businesses, rather than accumulating depreciating assets. Debt management. While income can be high, excessive debt can erode wealth. Wealthy individuals understand the importance of managing debt strategically, avoiding high interest debt, and leveraging good debt that can contribute to asset accumulation. Lifestyle inflation. One of the traps of a high income is the temptation to increase spending proportionally. Wealth is built by resisting lifestyle inflation, living below one's means, and prioritizing financial growth over immediate gratification. Financial planning. Long-term financial planning, including retirement planning, estate planning, and tax optimization, is crucial for converting income into enduring wealth. In essence, while income can facilitate immediate comfort and satisfaction, wealth ensures long-term financial freedom and stability. It's the security of knowing that you can maintain your lifestyle and support your loved ones, even if you choose to stop working or face unforeseen financial challenges. The journey from income to wealth requires discipline, foresight, and a commitment to financial education and strategic planning. Understanding and acting on the distinction between wealth and income can set the foundation for lasting financial well-being turning today's earnings into tomorrow's legacy. Money rules the rich know. Let's delve into the core principles that set the financially successful apart from those struggling to make ends meet. Delving deeper into the money rules the rich know reveals strategies and principles that go beyond basic financial advice. These rules are not just about accumulating wealth. They are about cultivating a mindset and lifestyle that sustains and grows that wealth over time. Let's explore some of these rules in more detail. Live below your means. One of the most emphasized rules among the wealthy is living below one's means. It's the practice of not spending everything you earn, creating a surplus to invest and grow your wealth. This rule is foundational because it ensures that regardless of how much money you make, you always have a portion set aside for future growth. It's about distinguishing between wants and needs, prioritizing spending that brings long-term benefits over immediate gratification, Invest early and often. The wealthy know the power of starting early when it comes to investing. Thanks to compound interest, investments grow exponentially over time, meaning the earlier you start, the more you can accumulate. Regular, consistent investment, even in small amounts, can lead to significant wealth over the long term. This rule underscores the importance of making investing a habit and integrating it into your financial planning from an early age. The power of compound interest. Albert Einstein is often quoted as saying compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Compound interest allows your investments to earn interest, and then this interest earns interest on itself. 
a powerful tool for wealth accumulation. The rich understand this principle and leverage it by investing in assets that offer the potential for compound growth, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate. Diversify your investments. Diversification is a critical strategy for managing risk and optimizing returns. By spreading investments across different asset classes and sectors, wealthy individuals can protect themselves against significant losses in any one area. This approach ensures that their portfolio can withstand market volatility and continue to grow over time. Create multiple income streams. Reliance on a single income source is risky. The wealthy often have multiple streams of income, including salaries, business income, rental income, dividends, and more. This diversification of income sources not only provides financial security, but also offers increased opportunities for investment and wealth accumulation. Protect your wealth. Wealth protection involves a range of strategies, including insurance, estate planning, and legal structuring to safeguard assets. The rich are proactive in ensuring their wealth is protected from unforeseen circumstances, litigation, and erosion through taxes or inflation. Prioritize your financial education. Continuous learning and staying informed about financial markets, investment opportunities, and economic trends are habits of the wealthy. They invest time and resources into understanding how to manage and grow their wealth effectively. Often consulting with financial advisors and staying abreast of the latest financial tools and strategies. Understand taxes and leverage them. A sophisticated understanding of tax laws and strategies to legally minimize tax liabilities is a hallmark of the financially savvy. Wealthy individuals make informed decisions that optimize their tax positions. Using tax-advantaged accounts, investments, and structures to retain more of their money. Networking and relationships. Finally, building and maintaining a robust network is invaluable. The rich know that relationships can open doors to new opportunities, partnerships, and ventures that can further wealth creation. Networking isn't just about socializing. It's about sharing knowledge, resources, and support that can lead to mutually beneficial outcomes. These money rules are not secrets, but they require a disciplined, informed approach to financial management. By adopting these principles, anyone can improve their financial well-being and move closer to achieving lasting wealth. Live below your means. One of the most fundamental yet often ignored rules. Living below your means allows you to save and invest more, creating a foundation for wealth accumulation. Live below your means is a fundamental principle that transcends mere frugality or penny pinching. It's about making conscious decisions regarding your finances to ensure long-term security and prosperity. This principle is a cornerstone of wealth building, embraced by those who have mastered the art of accumulating wealth. Let's dive deeper into what it means to live below your means and how it can be a powerful tool in your financial arsenal. Understand your financial flow. Living below your means starts with a clear understanding of your income and expenses. It involves tracking your spending to identify where your money goes each month. This awareness is crucial for setting realistic budgets that allocate funds for necessities, savings, and investments while still allowing for enjoyment of life's pleasures, albeit in a measured way. Differentiate needs from wants. A critical aspect of living below your means is distinguishing between needs and wants. Needs are essentials required for basic living, such as housing, food, healthcare, and transportation. Wants, however, are things that enhance our lives but are not essential for survival. Prioritizing needs over wants doesn't mean depriving yourself. Instead, it's about making informed choices that align with your financial goals. Embrace simplicity. Adopting a simpler lifestyle can significantly reduce financial stress and increase savings. This doesn't imply you must live austerely, but suggests finding value and fulfillment in non-material aspects of life. Enjoying nature, spending time with loved ones, and pursuing hobbies can provide profound satisfaction that doesn't impact your financial health negatively. Avoid debt. Living below your means is also about avoiding unnecessary debt. While some debt, like a mortgage or education loan, can be considered an investment, Accumulating high interest debt from credit cards or personal loans for non-essential spending undermines financial stability. If you already have such debts, prioritizing their repayment is essential for regaining control over your finances. Save and invest wisely. The money saved by living below your means should not just sit idly in a bank account. Instead, it should be put to work through savings and investments that can grow over time. Building an emergency fund is a good start, followed by investments in stocks, bonds, real estate, or retirement accounts, depending on your financial goals and risk tolerance. Quality over quantity. When making purchases, opt for quality over quantity. Buying fewer but better quality items that last longer can be more economical in the long run than continuously replacing cheaper, low-quality goods. 
This approach applies to everything from clothing and electronics to cars and furniture. Incremental improvements. Living below your means is a habit developed over time. Start with small manageable changes to your spending habits and gradually incorporate more significant adjustments. Over time, these incremental improvements can lead to substantial financial growth and stability. Focus on long-term goals. Remember, the purpose of living below your means is to achieve long-term financial security and fulfill your life goals. Whether that's retiring early, traveling the world, or providing for your family's future, keeping these goals in sight can motivate you to maintain financial discipline. Living below your means is not about sacrifice, but about making smarter financial decisions that pave the way for a secure and prosperous future. It's a strategy that empowers you to build wealth systematically and sustainably, ensuring that you not only survive financially, but thrive. Invest early and often. Time is a critical factor in wealth building. Starting your investment journey early can leverage the power of compound interest, turning modest savings into significant sums over time. Invest early and often is a mantra among those who have successfully built substantial wealth. This principle emphasizes the importance of starting your investment journey as early as possible and consistently contributing to your investments over time. It's grounded in the power of compound interest and the benefits of time in the market. Let's explore why investing early and frequently is a game changer for long-term financial growth. The power of compound interest. At the heart of the invest early and often philosophy is the concept of compound interest where you earn interest on both your initial investment and the interest that accumulates over time. The longer your money is invested, the more time it has to grow exponentially due to this compounding effect. Starting early can transform relatively modest savings into significant sums over decades, making time one of the most potent allies in building wealth. Time in the market versus timing the market. Many novice investors believe that success in investing comes from timing the market perfectly, buying low and selling high. However, even seasoned investors find it challenging to predict market movements consistently. A more effective strategy is to spend more time in the market, allowing investments to grow through the market's ups and downs. Regular, consistent investments, regardless of market conditions, often yield better long-term results than attempting to time the market. Dollar Cost Averaging Investing early and often aligns with the strategy known as Dollar Cost Averaging DCA. This involves investing a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, regardless of the investment's price. Over time, DCA can reduce the impact of volatility on your investment portfolio because you buy more shares when prices are low and fewer shares when prices are high. This approach not only disciplines your investment habit, but also mitigates the risk of making substantial investments at inopportune times, reducing psychological hurdles. Starting your investment journey early and investing regularly helps in overcoming psychological barriers to investing, such as fear of loss or decision paralysis. By making investing a routine part of your financial plan, you become more comfortable with market fluctuations and more focused on long-term growth, rather than getting sidetracked by short-term market movements. Leveraging retirement accounts. Investing early often involves taking full advantage of retirement accounts like 401ks, IRAs, or Roth IRAs. These accounts offer tax advantages that can significantly enhance the growth of your investments. Additionally, many employers offer matching contributions to 401k plans, which can further accelerate your wealth accumulation. The earlier you start contributing to these accounts, the more you can benefit from their tax advantages and potential employer matches. Building a diversified portfolio. Early investment gives you the luxury of time to build and adjust a diversified portfolio. Diversification across different asset classes, stocks, bonds, real estate, etc. And sectors can reduce risk and improve the overall performance of your investment portfolio. Starting early allows you to experiment, learn and gradually refine your investment strategy to better align with your risk tolerance and financial goals. Preparing for financial freedom. Ultimately, investing early and often sets the foundation for financial freedom. It enables you to grow your wealth systematically, ensuring that you are better prepared for major life events, including home ownership, education expenses, retirement, and unforeseen financial emergencies. The discipline of regular investing also fosters a healthy financial mindset, emphasizing forward thinking and proactive financial management. Investing early and often is not just about accumulating wealth, it's about empowering yourself to lead a financially secure and fulfilling life. By embracing this principle, you commit to a path of financial growth and independence, opening up a world of possibilities for your future. The power of compound interest. Albert Einstein reportedly called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. Understanding and utilizing this can make a profound difference in your financial future. 
The power of compound interest is often hailed as one of the most critical concepts in personal finance and investing. Described by Albert Einstein as the eighth wonder of the world, its power lies in its ability to exponentially increase your wealth over time, making it a pivotal element in achieving long-term financial goals. Understanding and leveraging compound interest can significantly impact your financial future. What is compound interest? Compound interest is the interest on a loan or deposit calculated based on both the initial principal and the accumulated interest from previous periods. In simpler terms, it's interest on interest, which can cause wealth to grow at an accelerating rate over time. This contrasts with simple interest, which is calculated solely on the principal amount. How compound interest works. The mechanism of compound interest is straightforward yet powerful. When you invest money, you earn interest on your initial investment. In the next period, you earn interest on both your original principal and the interest from the first period and so on. Over time, these small additions accumulate, leading to significant growth in your investment due to the snowballing effect. The Rule of 72. The Rule of 72 is a simple formula used to estimate the number of years required to double your money at a given annual rate of return. By dividing 72 by the annual rate of interest, you can get a rough estimate of how many years it will take for your investment to double. This rule highlights the impact of higher rates of return on the speed at which your investment grows, underscoring the importance of compound interest. Factors affecting compound interest. Several factors influence the power of compound interest. Principal amount, the initial amount of money invested. The larger the principal, the more significant the compound interest effect. Interest rate, the percentage at which your investment grows each period. Higher rates accelerate the compounding effect. Time, the length of time your money is invested. Compound interest thrives over long periods, highlighting the importance of starting your investment journey early. Frequency of compounding. How often interest is calculated and added to the principal. More frequent compounding periods, e.g. monthly instead of annually, can significantly increase the amount of interest accumulated. Compound interest and retirement savings. One of the most practical applications of compound interest is in retirement savings. Starting to save and invest in your retirement accounts early can have a profound impact on the size of your retirement fund. Even if initial contributions are small, the compounding effect over several decades can lead to a substantial nest egg, providing financial security in retirement. Overcoming inflation. Compound interest also plays a vital role in preserving the purchasing power of your money over time. By investing in assets with returns that outpace inflation, compound interest can help ensure that your savings grow in real terms, not just nominally. Starting early, a key advantage. The most powerful aspect of compound interest is its potential to grow wealth over time. The earlier you start investing, the more time compound interest has to work its magic and the less you need to contribute to reach the same financial goal compared to starting later. The magic of patience and discipline. Embracing compound interest requires patience and discipline. It's about making regular contributions to your investments and letting time and the compounding process build your wealth. It's a reminder that wealth creation is not about hitting a financial jackpot, but about steady, consistent growth over time. In essence, the power of compound interest lies not just in its mathematical formula, but in its ability to transform modest savings into significant wealth. It teaches the importance of starting early, investing wisely, and having the patience to watch your wealth grow exponentially. Diversify your investments. Putting all your eggs in one basket is risky. Wealthy individuals spread their investments across various assets to mitigate risks and increase potential returns. Diversify your investments is a cornerstone principle in the realm of investing, often encapsulated by the adage, don't put all your eggs in one basket. This strategy is about spreading your investments across various asset classes and sectors to mitigate risk and enhance potential returns. Diversification is a powerful tool in managing the unpredictability of markets and protecting your portfolio from significant losses. Let's delve deeper into the nuances of diversification and how it can be effectively implemented. Understanding diversification. At its core, diversification involves investing in a mix of assets that have different performance characteristics. The rationale is that when one asset class or sector underperforms, another might be outperforming, thus balancing out the overall performance of your portfolio. This strategy can help in smoothing out the volatility and reducing the risk of substantial losses. Asset Class Diversification Diversifying across asset classes is one of the fundamental ways to build a resilient investment portfolio. Common asset classes include stocks, bonds, real estate, commodities, and cash or cash equivalents. Each class responds differently to market conditions. Stocks offer growth potential but come with higher volatility. 
Bonds can provide stable income and are generally less volatile than stocks. Real estate can offer both income through rents and potential appreciation in value. Commodities such as gold or oil often act as a hedge against inflation but can be highly volatile. Cash or cash equivalents, like money market funds, offer the least growth potential but are the most liquid and stable. Sector and geographic diversification. Beyond asset classes, diversifying across different sectors, e.g. technology, healthcare, finance, and geographic regions can further reduce risk. Different sectors and regions can react differently to the same economic event. For instance, while one sector might be suffering due to regulatory changes, another might be thriving. Similarly, while one country's economy might be in recession, another's might be booming. Diversification through funds. For many investors, achieving diversification through individual stocks, bonds, and other assets can be challenging due to limited capital. Here, mutual funds, index funds, and exchange-traded funds, ETFs, come into play. These funds pool money from many investors to buy a wide array of investments, providing instant diversification even with a small investment amount. The role of alternative investments. Incorporating alternative investments like hedge funds, private equity, and collectibles, e.g. art, wine, can offer additional layers of diversification. These assets often have low correlation with traditional markets, providing a cushion during market downturns. However, they may also come with higher fees, greater risk, and less liquidity, making them suitable primarily for more experienced investors. Rebalancing your portfolio. Diversification is not a set it and forget it strategy. Over time, the performance of different investments will vary, potentially skewing your portfolio away from its target allocation. Regular rebalancing, selling off outperformers and buying more of the underperformers, can help maintain your desired level of diversification and risk. The limits of diversification. While diversification can reduce unsystematic risk, risk specific to a single asset or market, it cannot eliminate systematic risk risk affecting the entire market, such as economic recessions. Therefore, even a well-diversified portfolio can lose value in a market downturn, though likely less so than a non-diversified one. Diversify your investments is a fundamental investing principle that balances risk and reward by spreading exposure across various assets, sectors, and geographies. This strategy requires careful planning, ongoing management, and a clear understanding of your financial goals and risk tolerance. When executed correctly, diversification can be a powerful tool in building a robust investment portfolio, capable of weathering market fluctuations and achieving long-term financial objectives. Create multiple income streams. Relying on a single income source is precarious. The rich cultivate multiple income streams, ensuring financial stability and growth. Create multiple income streams is a strategy widely embraced by financially successful individuals to build wealth, enhance financial security, and achieve financial independence. This approach involves diversifying your sources of income beyond a primary job or business. By developing multiple income streams, you can reduce reliance on a single source of earnings, making you more resilient against economic downturns or unforeseen circumstances that might affect your primary income. Let's explore the significance of this strategy and various ways to implement it. The importance of multiple income streams. Risk mitigation. Relying on a single income source can be risky. If that source is compromised due to job loss, business failure, or economic factors, financial stability can be threatened. Multiple income streams provide a safety net, ensuring that if one stream dries up, others can help sustain your financial needs. Potential for increased earnings. Developing additional sources of income can significantly boost your total earnings, accelerating your path to financial goals such as retirement, home ownership, or investment opportunities. Financial flexibility. Having multiple income streams can provide the financial flexibility to pursue interests, invest in personal development, or take calculated risks without jeopardizing your financial security. Leveraging skills and interests. Creating additional income streams allows you to monetize various skills, hobbies, or interests, potentially turning passions into profitable ventures. Strategies to create multiple income streams. One, investment income. Investing in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and real estate can generate income through dividends, interest, and rental income. This passive income stream can grow over time, contributing significantly to your wealth. 2. Side business. Starting a side business allows you to explore entrepreneurial ventures with less risk than abandoning your primary income source. E-commerce, online consulting, or freelancing in your area of expertise can be lucrative. 3. Part-time employment or freelancing. Engaging in part-time work or freelancing in addition to a full-time job can diversify your income sources, 
This is particularly effective for utilizing specialized skills or exploring different industries. Four, create digital products. Developing and selling digital products such as eBooks, courses, or software can provide a scalable income source. Once created, these products can be sold repeatedly with little additional cost. Five, real estate. Investing in real estate offers multiple ways to generate income, including long-term rental properties, vacation rentals, or flipping properties. Real estate can also appreciate in value over time, contributing to wealth growth. Six, royalties from intellectual property. Creating music, writing books, developing patents, or other intellectual property can generate ongoing royalties. This type of income often requires significant upfront effort, but can provide a steady income stream afterward. Seven, affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing involves promoting other companies' products and earning a commission for sales or leads generated. This can be a lucrative income stream, especially if you have a strong online presence or platform, balancing and managing multiple income streams. While creating multiple income streams can enhance financial security and growth, it also requires careful management to ensure that each stream is productive and that the overall portfolio of activities does not become overwhelming. Regularly assessing the profitability, time commitment, and alignment with your financial goals is crucial to effectively balancing multiple income streams. In conclusion, creating multiple income streams is a proactive strategy for building financial resilience and accelerating wealth accumulation. By diversifying your income sources, you can protect against economic uncertainties, capitalize on a broader range of opportunities, and achieve a more secure and prosperous financial future. Protect your wealth. It's not just about making money, but also about protecting it. This involves proper insurance, estate planning, and risk management strategies. Protect your wealth is a crucial aspect of financial planning that goes beyond the accumulation of assets. It involves implementing strategies to safeguard your wealth from potential threats such as legal liabilities, economic downturns, taxes, and inflation. Protecting your wealth ensures that your assets and financial future remain secure, not just for you, but also for your heirs. Let's delve into some key strategies for wealth protection. Insurance coverage. A fundamental step in protecting your wealth is to have comprehensive insurance coverage. This includes health insurance, property and casualty insurance, life insurance, and liability insurance. Each type of insurance serves to protect different aspects of your wealth. For instance, life insurance can provide financial security for your family in the event of your death, while liability insurance can protect you from the financial fallout of legal claims. Estate planning. Estate planning is about managing and preserving your assets while you're alive and distributing them after your death according to your wishes. This process involves drafting a will, setting up trusts, naming beneficiaries, and considering the tax implications of inheritance. Estate planning helps ensure that your wealth is transferred smoothly and efficiently to your heirs, minimizing the potential for disputes and reducing taxation. Diversification. As part of an overall strategy to protect your wealth, diversification cannot be overstated. By spreading your investments across various asset classes, sectors, and geographies, you can reduce the risk of significant financial loss if one investment performs poorly. Diversification is not just about having different investments. It's about having investments that react differently to the same economic events, thereby smoothing out the volatility in your portfolio. Legal structures and asset protection strategies. Utilizing legal structures such as trusts, limited liability companies, LLCs, and family limited partnerships can offer powerful protection for your assets. These structures can shield your wealth from lawsuits, creditors, and judgments, ensuring that your assets are preserved for your use and your heirs. Consulting with a legal professional to determine the most appropriate structures for your situation is essential. Tax efficiency. Understanding and planning for tax implications is critical in protecting your wealth. This includes taking advantage of tax-deferred or tax-exempt investment accounts, such as IRAs and 401ks, and employing strategies such as tax loss harvesting to offset capital gains. Effective tax planning can significantly reduce the amount of your wealth consumed by taxes, allowing more of your assets to grow over time. Emergency Fund Maintaining an emergency fund is a basic yet vital component of protecting your wealth. This fund should cover several months of living expenses and be easily accessible in case of unexpected financial needs. An emergency fund can prevent you from having to liquidate investments at an inopportune time, which can protect your wealth from potential market losses. Regular review and adjustment. The financial landscape is constantly changing, and what works today may not work tomorrow. Regularly reviewing and adjusting your wealth protection strategies is crucial. This might mean updating your insurance coverage, 
revisiting your estate plan, or rebalancing your investment portfolio to maintain the desired level of risk and protection. Protecting your wealth is an ongoing process that requires attention and foresight. By employing a comprehensive strategy that includes insurance, estate planning, diversification, legal protections, tax efficiency, and emergency preparedness, you can safeguard your financial future and ensure that your wealth remains a source of security and opportunity for you and your loved ones. Prioritize your financial education. Continuously learning about financial markets, investment strategies, and economic principles is key to maintaining and expanding wealth. Prioritize your financial education is a fundamental principle for anyone looking to build and maintain wealth over the long term. This commitment to learning not only about the basics of budgeting and saving, but also about complex investment strategies, tax planning, and risk management is what sets apart the financially savvy from those who struggle to achieve their financial goals. Here's why continuously enhancing your financial education is essential and how you can effectively do it. The foundation of financial success. At its core, prioritizing your financial education lays the groundwork for making informed decisions that can significantly impact your financial well-being. Understanding the intricacies of personal finance, from the effects of inflation on savings to the benefits of compound interest on investments, empowers you to create strategies that optimize your financial resources. This knowledge is crucial in navigating the complexities of the financial world and in making choices that align with your long-term goals. Keeping up with financial trends, the financial landscape is ever-evolving. With new investment opportunities, tax laws, and financial products emerging regularly, staying informed about these changes allows you to adapt your financial strategies and take advantage of trends and tools that can enhance your wealth-building efforts. Whether it's the rise of digital currencies, changes in retirement account regulations, or new tax deduction opportunities, a commitment to financial education ensures you're always positioned to make the most of your financial resources. Avoiding common pitfalls. A solid financial education also serves as a shield against common financial pitfalls, such as high interest debt, investment scams, and impulsive spending. By understanding the risks associated with certain financial decisions and the importance of due diligence, you can avoid mistakes that could derail your financial progress. Additionally, financial literacy can help you recognize and correct missteps in your current financial strategy, allowing for quicker recovery and adjustment. How to enhance your financial education. Read widely. Books, financial news, and reputable blogs can provide a wealth of information on various financial topics. Look for materials that cover a broad range of subjects, from personal finance basics to advanced investment strategies. Take online courses. Many universities and financial institutions offer free or low-cost courses on personal finance and investing. These courses can provide structured learning paths and deeper insights into specific topics. Attend workshops and seminars. Local community centers, banks, and investment firms often host workshops and seminars on financial planning, investing, and tax strategies. These events can also offer networking opportunities with finance professionals. Consult with professionals. While self-education is crucial, consulting with financial advisors, tax professionals, and legal experts can provide personalized insights and strategies tailored to your specific financial situation. Join financial communities, online forums, social media groups, and investment clubs can be valuable resources for sharing knowledge and experiences. Engaging with a community of like-minded individuals can offer support, advice, and different perspectives on financial matters. Practice what you learn. Applying the knowledge you gain through real-life financial decisions is perhaps the most effective way to deepen your understanding and skills. Whether it's creating a budget, investing in a mutual fund, or negotiating a mortgage, hands-on experience is invaluable. Prioritizing your financial education is an ongoing journey, not a destination. It requires curiosity, diligence, and the willingness to adapt and grow. By continuously seeking to expand your knowledge and applying what you learn, you can navigate the financial world with confidence make informed decisions, and build a secure and prosperous financial future. Understand taxes and leverage them. Taxes can eat into your wealth if not managed properly. The rich know how to navigate tax laws to their advantage, legally reducing liabilities and maximizing returns. Understand taxes and leverage. Them is a sophisticated approach to financial planning that can significantly enhance your wealth building efforts. Taxes, often considered a financial burden, can actually be managed and optimized to work in your favor. By gaining a deeper understanding of tax laws and employing strategic tax planning, you can minimize your tax liabilities, increase your investment returns, and accelerate your path to financial goals. 
Let's explore how you can effectively understand taxes and leverage them. The importance of tax literacy. Tax literacy is crucial for making informed financial decisions. Every financial transaction, from earning income to investing and saving, has tax implications. Understanding these implications enables you to structure your finances in a way that legally minimizes the taxes you owe. This not only preserves more of your wealth, but also provides additional funds that can be reinvested to further grow your assets. Strategies for leveraging taxes. One, maximize retirement account contributions. Retirement accounts like 401ks, IRAs, and Roth IRAs offer significant tax advantages. Contributions to traditional retirement accounts may reduce your taxable income while Roth accounts offer tax-free growth and withdrawals. Maximizing contributions to these accounts can reduce your current tax liabilities and provide tax-efficient growth for your retirement savings. Two, utilize tax-efficient investment vehicles. Investing in tax-efficient vehicles, such as municipal bonds or index funds, can minimize your tax burden. Municipal bonds are often exempt from federal taxes and sometimes state and local taxes. While index funds tend to have lower turnover rates, resulting in fewer taxable capital gains distributions. Three, take advantage of tax loss harvesting. Tax loss harvesting involves selling investments at a loss to offset gains in other parts of your portfolio. This strategy can reduce your taxable income and improve the after-tax return of your investment portfolio. However, it's important to be mindful of the IRS's wash sale rule, which prohibits claiming a tax deduction for a security sold in a wash sale. Four, understand tax deductions and credits. Familiarizing yourself with tax deductions and credits can significantly reduce your tax bill. Deductions lower your taxable income, while credits reduce your tax liability on a dollar for dollar basis. Common deductions and credits include those for educational expenses, charitable contributions, and energy efficient home improvements. Five, estate and gift tax planning. Estate and gift taxes can consume a significant portion of your wealth if not properly planned for. Utilizing strategies such as gifting within the annual exclusion limit, setting up trusts or making charitable donations can minimize estate and gift taxes, preserving more of your wealth for your heirs. Six, stay informed and consult professionals. Tax laws are complex and subject to change. Staying informed about current tax legislation and consulting with tax professionals can help you navigate the complexities of tax planning. A qualified tax advisor can provide personalized strategies that align with your financial situation and goals. The impact of proactive tax planning. Proactive tax planning is an integral component of a comprehensive financial strategy. It not only reduces your immediate tax liabilities, but also enhances the long-term growth potential of your assets. By understanding taxes and leveraging them to your advantage, you can optimize your financial decisions, increase your effective returns, and achieve your financial objectives more efficiently. In conclusion, understanding taxes and leveraging them is not about evasion, but about making smart choices within the bounds of the law. With a solid grasp of tax principles and strategic planning, you can significantly reduce your tax burden and use those savings to further your financial ambitions, networking, and relationships. Lastly, wealth isn't built in isolation. The affluent understand the value of building strong networks and relationships that can open doors to new opportunities. Networking and relationships in the context of wealth building and financial success are about much more than merely making acquaintances or exchanging business cards. It's a strategic and intentional process of building meaningful connections that can provide mutual benefit, share knowledge, open up opportunities, and foster collaborations. The rich understand that while individual effort and savvy financial strategies are crucial, the network they cultivate can significantly amplify their success. Here's a deeper dive into the importance of networking and how to leverage relationships effectively in your financial journey. The value of a strong network. A robust network can offer access to opportunities that might not be available through traditional channels. This includes inside information about investments, partnerships, mentorship, and access to capital or resources that can accelerate your business or investment goals. Moreover, being part of a network with diverse skills and perspectives can provide invaluable insights and advice, helping you make better informed decisions. Strategic networking for financial success. One, identify key influencers and connectors. Focus on building relationships with individuals who are well-connected, influential, and can act as mentors or guides in your financial journey. These individuals often have a wealth of experience and can offer insights, advice, and introductions that can be pivotal for your success. Two, offer value first. Effective networking is not just about what you can get, but also what you can give. 
Entering into networking relationships with a mindset of offering value first can help establish trust and goodwill, making others more inclined to assist you when you need it. This could be in the form of sharing your expertise, offering your services, or connecting people within your network. Three, leverage social platforms. Social media platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, and industry-specific forums can be powerful tools for networking. They allow you to connect with industry leaders, join financial investment groups, and participate in discussions. Sharing your thoughts on financial trends and engaging with the content posted by others can increase your visibility and attract connections that share your interests. 4. Attend industry conferences and events. Attending conferences, seminars, and networking events related to your financial interests can provide direct access to like-minded individuals. These events offer a conducive environment for initiating conversations, exchanging contacts, and even forming partnerships. The key is to be genuine, curious, and open to learning from others. 5. Nurture your relationships. Building a network is just the beginning. Maintaining these relationships is where the real work lies. Regular check-ins, sharing useful information, or even meeting for coffee can keep the relationship alive and reciprocal. Remember, strong relationships are built on consistency and genuine engagement. 6. Collaborate and share opportunities. Look for opportunities to collaborate on projects or investments that can benefit from the combined skills, resources, and knowledge of your network. Sharing opportunities not only helps in achieving mutual goals, but also strengthens the bonds within your network, creating a supportive ecosystem for wealth building. The ripple effect of networking. The power of networking and wealth building extends beyond direct financial gains. It fosters a sense of community and support, providing a buffer during challenging times and celebrating successes together. By investing time and effort into cultivating meaningful relationships, you unlock a world of opportunities that can propel you toward your financial goals more effectively than going at it alone. Networking and building relationships are integral to financial success. They offer a conduit to knowledge, opportunities, and resources that might otherwise be out of reach. By approaching networking with intentionality, generosity, and a focus on building genuine connections, you can significantly enhance your journey toward financial prosperity. In conclusion, navigating the journey to financial success is a multifaceted endeavor that extends beyond mere numbers and investment strategies. It encompasses a deep understanding of wealth, the psychology of money, strategic investment practices, tax optimization, and the invaluable role of networking and relationships. Each element plays a crucial role in not only building wealth, but also in safeguarding and multiplying it. By living below your means, investing early and often, diversifying your investments, creating multiple income streams, protecting your wealth, prioritizing your financial education, understanding and leveraging taxes, and cultivating a strong network, you set a solid foundation for financial prosperity. Remember, the journey to financial success is both personal and unique. It requires patience, persistence, and a willingness to learn and adapt. Whether you're just starting out or are well on your path, the principles discussed here can offer guidance and inspiration to pursue your financial goals with confidence. Thank you for joining me in exploring these essential aspects of financial wisdom. Your interest and eagerness to learn more about managing and growing your wealth are commendable. I encourage you to continue educating yourself, seeking out new opportunities, and building relationships that enrich your financial journey. If you found this discussion valuable, please consider subscribing for more insights and strategies on achieving financial success. Your subscription supports ongoing content creation and helps build a community of individuals committed to empowering their financial futures. Together, we can navigate the complexities of personal finance and work towards a future of financial independence and security. Thank you for your time and here's to your continued financial success.